Hi guys, it's Winifred. I'm here with a requested video by Natural Dane. She wanted to see my bathroom renovation. So I'm going to try to, you know, go through this as quickly as possible. Excuse the, um, the reflection on my phone. But I kind of wanted to show you all a few of the pictures prior to the renovation or in progress of the renovation. This is the um, shower area and this is the um, body sprays that our contractor had installed. Again, this is the shower area and the back wall that he installed separating the shower from the toilet area. This is just the inner workings of the uh, bath body sprays. This used to be the shower area, however he trans he changed that into um, a linen closet for uh, the bathroom. We just thought that that would be so much more functional instead of having that narrow shower and a bathtub in the bathroom. Um, what we did was, guys, where the bathtub used to be, which is this area where is our huge shower area now, um, we made that a shower area. So we took the bathtub out, and this is kind of what you're seeing right here. The bathtub was here, and on this side there was a shower, but he did have to uh, erect the wall. So that served two purposes, actually. It served a purpose to enclose the shower area and to give you some privacy if you're using the bathroom. That is a picture of our contractor extraordinaire. His name is Ruben. Travares and he is here in the Cleveland area so I'm going to leave his contact information uh, down in the description bar just in case anyone wants to get in contact with him who lives in the Cleveland area and that's just a picture of my bedroom okay now this is the bathroom you can see that pink tub our house is a mid-century house is built in 1952 so the coloring for the bathroom was pink and green guys pink and green um, this I thought was really cool. I don't know how you're, how it's coming up on the video, but when we took the walls down, they had the sketchings of, um, what the bathroom used to look like. So they had the design print on the actual wall. So I thought that was kind of cool. Now this is, or was the shower area, which is now a linen closet. And yeah, there you go. This is the mint green towel, guys, with pink detailing all around. And there is that lovely pink tub that I was talking about that we had taken out. And yeah, that's just some of the rubble. And there's the green. I mean, this was towel, guys. I mean, all the way around the bathroom. And that's the window. Yeah, and that's my makeup room. Okay, so let's just get started. All right, so first I'm going to kind of like back out like I'm entering the bathroom from the hallway. So when you walk in, let me just get a shot of this floor real quick. Okay, so the floor is tile. And what you see that inlay right there, that is copper, guys. Um... The uh, materials, all the tile that you see, as well as the accent copper, all came from designer surfaces here in Cleveland. It's either design surfaces or designer surfaces. Again, I'll have that in the description bar as well. Um, so that, that floor detailing there is actual copper. It's um, not solid copper. It's just copper like a... A thin layer of copper, copper with some other kind of material on the back. But it's like a tan tile floor. This is the shower area, guys. Let's start from the top and go all the way down. Ruben installed uh, four recess lightings at the top, lighting fixtures. And then also we have a... Um, rain shower head in the center of the 
ceiling up at the top, as well as a regular shower head. And then if you go down a little bit, you'll see the four body sprays as well as a tub spout. We just use that to clean our feet. All of the faucets and everything are rubbed oil bronze. Then you've got the accent pieces or accent towel going around the whole perimeter of the bathroom. This is a nice towel, multicolored towel um, with the copper, same copper piecings that were on the floor going all around the bathroom as well as a tub, not tub, excuse me, shower. Glass shelving at the back of the shower. I wanted a glass so that it would not interfere with the design of the shower. Um, the shower tiling itself is a dark chocolate brown. And if you notice, and you might tell the difference right here, that this part right here is a light, kind of like a tan color, medium colored tan. And this is the dark color, so we want to accent the shower area by making that dark. And then the rest of the towel going around the bathroom is the same style, but it is lighter in color. And what is actually tying it together is we still have the same accent pieces going all the way around. Okay, so sorry don't mean to make you dizzy guys so this was the wall that was installed kind of to um, enclose the shower and then also if anyone is sitting in the toilet area gives you some privacy now that painting right there well it's not painting it's banana leaf um, picture African picture I got that years ago guys from Ethnic Arts. I want to say I at least had this painting, this picture for about 15 years. It's made entirely out of banana leaf. And um, yeah, it just goes to show that if there's something that you really, really love, go ahead and buy it because you will use it eventually. Now the wall, the wall section is painted like a lighter tan. And if you notice the window, it's going to get a little dark here, guys. I'm sorry. Um, we left the window pane, the wood around the window, its natural color, just polyurethane it so that it would blend in with the bathroom better. And I'm sorry, this might come across as being a little echoey, so I apologize in advance for that. This door right here, guys, used to be the actual shower stall. So we changed that into a linen closet, um, had the doors stained a lovely deep brown and um, had the door itself framed in the same wood that is framing the window to kind of tie it in. And don't judge, don't judge, don't judge, but I'm going to give you a quick peek. This is the actual linen closet. I haven't even, you know, <laughs> got that straight yet, but it is what it is. Um, now, this is the vanity area, guys. The lighting came from a place in Cleveland called Cleveland Lighting. It's located on Mayfield in Lynnhurst, Ohio. And the mirror actually is bronze and copper. I'm going to come in a little closer if you can see the detailing on here. It's like uh, leaves and whatnot. But I ordered that online, guys. I actually ordered it from um, Lamps Plus. And you can see the measurements a little off. I actually, I didn't measure it. I saw the picture. The, the mirror liked it, ordered it. I like the lighting. Boom, ordered it. So it is what it is. It doesn't... Um, the lighting is a little bit too big. The mirror is a little bit too big. They touch, but I was not about to, you know, cut it down. So what you have all around here, guys, the backsplash, 
that's actual copper tile and again that came from design surface as well and uh, yeah they have a crazy crazy assortment of tile guys and this copper all of the copper tiling they uh, ordered that from Belgium it actually came from Belgium Germany um, this sink guys is a cross sink and one arm uh, faucet I ordered that online I ordered it from uh, e-faucets I believe and it's just beautiful you have the copper coloring in here as well it's just kind of like a decorative piece and the outside of it guys is a matte gold kind of color now this is a granite top again this came from design surfaces um, yeah I kind of pieced it together guys <laughs> I piece piece this together um, the design as well for this we just piece this together actually this was a mistake we were supposed to have copper scent and it's supposed to look something like this however this was a mistake and this was sent in from uh, Germany as opposed to the style that was supposed to be like this but when we saw it we were like okay <laughs> we might as well make it work and it did so hey now the actual vanity looked everywhere could not find a vanity guys to fit this spot so went to the Amish country and had them built a vanity uh, our um, contractor Reuben gave them the measurements and this is what they came up with I you know I said I wanted plenty of drawers so I've got plenty of storage that one in the middle this opens up three drawers on either side now the knobs themselves they were wood to match the vanity but I didn't like that so I ordered these pretty kind of like they're kind of like a shell um, a shell finish kind of multicolored cream I wanted a light knob uh, up against the brown so it pop a little bit. So yeah, I ordered these off of I believe E faucets as well, and um, didn't want this one to be like a knob per se. I wanted this to be more of a a pull, an oblong pull. So they had it, but in a different shape. So they had the same color but in a different shape. So I went ahead and ordered that. And I did the same for the linen closet, ordered a knob for that. And then I also did the same for the medicine cabinet over here, ordered the same kind of knob. And that's the shoot, just had it painted uh, the same color as the wall. And the light switch, guys, we wanted all of the light switches and the accessories, the faucets, everything to match, everything to be this rubbed uh, dark deep rubbed oil bronze so that's the accent pieces around uh, the bathroom and this is a night light I thought this night light was cool guys got this night light from Lowe's and it kind of looks a little art decoy and uh, yeah so again keeping in theme that's uh, rubbed oil bronze as well and those are my little Halloween votive candle holders and yeah just to give you another look at the vanity hey guys hey <laughs> and uh, yeah I just really love this mirror the detailing the like the leaves all around I think it's just really really cool and it looks nice at night it looks nice at night guys and sometimes I'll just have the candles burning so guests could just kind of find their way in here or if the shower is particularly clean I'll just have the shower lights on and they find their way in here or just either 
the light above the toilet. So that's one thing. He really did a fantastic job as far as making sure everything was illuminated and adding extra lighting. Um, the lighting up at the top, that was just extra. The lighting over the toilet, that was extra. Um, ceiling light, of course, that matches the vanity light. And again, guys, that came from Cleveland Lighting. It's located in Lynnhurst here in the, the Cleveland area. And uh, yeah, that's a quick look at my vanity again. That light switch over there, guys, goes to the linen closet. He also uh, <laughs> put a light switch over here in the toilet area. Just, yeah, you know. <laughs> Sometimes that's a second library for people. TMI, I know, but hey, it's the truth. Um, I got that teak wood stool, guys. It's a shower stool, actually. Um, I use it as both uh, a little table to hold reading materials and if you're giving yourself a really nice foot soak or foot scrub, you can just as easily take it into the shower. And uh, that's it. The bathroom is not really big, but my whole thing, guys, was to make everything functional. And I think we achieved that in here. Uh, saw so no need to keep a to keep the um, tub, so we got rid of it. And there you have it, guys. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I would love to see your bathroom renovations also. I really get into interior design, guys. And thank you for watching. And let me apologize in advance because um, you might hear some echoing, and the sound might be off because of the echoing, but I apologize guys. So have a nice night, have a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.